The year 2013 once again saw transfer records tumble as European football's top clubs traded the game's biggest names. And we start with the final leg of an illustrious career as David Beckham signed for Paris Saint-Germain in January on a free transfer. PSG gained a global name to add to their growing reputation and as ever, Beckham was always willing to give something back. I won't receive any salary. We've decided that my salary will go uh, towards uh, a, a children's charity, a local children's charity in, in Paris. Another freebie was Kaká's move back to AC Milan as the former World Player of the Year rejoined from Real Madrid. And elsewhere, Istanbul and Galatasaray came calling for Wesley Schneider. The Dutchman departed from Inter Milan in a £5 million deal. Balotelli's explosive spell in English football never really lent itself to longevity and Super Mario traded Manchester for Milan. Whilst the David Moyes era at Manchester United began with the signing of Marouane Fellaini. In perhaps the most controversial transfer of the summer, Mario Goetze left Borussia Dortmund for arch-rivals Bayern Munich for a relatively cheap £32 million. And Arsenal's new signing, Mesut Ozil, had some concise and profound words for his new fans. I am a gunner. <laughs> Brazilian football's golden boy left his childhood club of Santos to sign for Barcelona in May this year. Tears were shed and £50 million was the price tag as Neymar moved to the camp now to line up alongside Mr Messi. Colombian striker Falcao had spent the previous couple of years banging in the goals and sweeping up trophies for Atletico Madrid before the chance of glory and a few tax-free euros turned his head in the summer as Falcao put pen to paper on a deal worth £53 million. The longest transfer saga of the summer came to an end when Gareth Bale swapped North London for the Spanish capital. The price? An eye-watering £85 million.